JDR stands for Jet Decommissioning and Repurposing. Uh, this is first of a kind for UKAA and the scale of the work that we're doing is actually probably first of a kind globally. The hazards within the, the tokamak are such that we couldn't deploy personnel into the machine for over 30 years because of the activation. So the remote handling system is absolutely fundamental to, to decommissioning jet. So uh, the remote handling system grew up with the, with the jet machine and very much from the early stages since the early 80s. Jet remote handling has been at the forefront of maintenance of the machine and all the refurbishments and upgrades. We've got over 60,000 hours of operational experience with the system, maintaining, refurbishing, upgrading the internal components. We've now done nine shutdowns. And as we head towards decommissioning, what we've done is we've refurbished the system so that it's fit for the future. And this has taken huge effort. It's It's been hundred people working day in day out to deliver the capability that the team is now training on ready for the first part of the decommissioning campaign. Everything we'll be doing during phase one will be using uh, the existing tooling we have uh, all compatible with Mascot and our viewing systems. Mascot is a local remote actuated manipulator that we deploy on the end of the Octant One boom to carry out all of our in-vessel operations. It's operated from within here in the control room. There are motors or actuators uh, within the casing and they read the positional feedback. They then convert that, send it over to the remote station where it's replicated and essentially all movements are done in near enough real time. The Octum One boom system has now been upgraded over a period of um, many years, about four years. And we've upgraded all sorts of elements of the system, including uh, a new boom control cubicle, new boom interface cubicles. All of those individual elements represent many, literally thousands, tens of thousands, in fact, of uh, personnel's work. An equivalent amount of effort on the software development, human machine interface development, extraordinary amounts of effort to carry out the integrated commissioning of all of that equipment. Um, and so it's all come together now with uh, this tremendous capability we can see behind us. The reasoning behind that was because the kit was very old, the parts within it were obsolescent, it was becoming unreliable. And so I think the, the reasoning for needing it to be refurbished in effect uh, was to make it reliable so we could carry on use, uh, operating jets but now we're moving into this new phase we're now using this refurbished capability for what are going to be many years of jet decommissioning we bought in as much as possible but in most instances it hasn't been possible to buy in that capability so we, we've had no choice but to develop it ourselves the sun retrieval project exists to remove uh, around 60 components from jet and process them into samples for various stages stakeholders across the business um, and uh, across Europe as well. So um, we'll be going in vessel, there's training for that going on at the moment, and we'll be using our remote handling equipment to remove the 60 components, uh, bringing them out of the vessel, and then we'll be going into our Brilliant Handling Facility to dismantle everything and size reduce them, um, and then send them out piece by piece. The operations that we'll do are going to be more intensive than anything we've ever done before and for that reason we're, we're investing time and effort to make sure the system and all of the staff that operate it are, are fully capable and understand what's got to be done. During phase two, this is everything we've never deployed using the RH system before, so using a large circular saw to cut out the diverter, um, and also potentially using laser cutting systems as well, um, operated by Mascot in Vessel. All in all, about 800,000 person hours of work. If you wanted to undertake that sort of work yourself, it would take you about 400 years. So we need a good team behind us. The scale of the work we're going to do over around about three and a half years of in-vessel operations is, is greater than anything we've done in the previous 30 years.